good morning students in this module we are going to learn in detail about two most important industries they are major industries and they include the iron and steel industry and the cotton textile industry so let us begin with the iron and steel industry Now the iron and steel industry is also known as a basic industry or feeder industry because it provides the basis for operation of other industries. So here we can see that all these rolls of steel are used by other industries for making several things. Here the reinforcement bars are used for construction purposes all these pipe like structures which you see they are used for several purposes or for manufacturing several big and small things like screws nails etc now the iron and steel industry is a heavy industry because it uses bulky raw materials and it its inputs include iron ore coal limestone manganese labor and huge infrastructure now refining of iron ore is done in a blast furnace now this is a structure which you will find commonly in all those iron and steel mines which are making pig iron or it is fed this blast furnace is fed with the ore that has a lot of impurities along with lime and a lot of hot air gases are being pressed into it which helps in smelting the iron that is it separates the slag or the impurities from the iron and the molten pure iron is obtained to this molten pure iron carbon is added to make steel so this is how steel is manufactured now as far as the distribution of iron and steel industry is concerned the usa has a large number of iron and steel producing centers here you can see clusters of iron and steel industries in the northeastern part of USA and the producing centers include Alabama, Pittsburgh, Youngstown, Chicago and Gary. All these industries are clustered over here because of the availability of a large number of the raw materials which are found in the vicinity and that has helped the iron and steel industry in USA to flourish in this particular region elsewhere in Europe we find there are several well developed iron and steel industries and they are located in United Kingdom France Germany Luxembourg Poland Belgium Sweden and Ukraine Russia and China also have a huge number of iron and steel industries. Apart from that, Brazil, Venezuela, South Africa and Japan are among other iron and steel producing countries in the world. In India, 
the iron and steel industries are concentrated in the chota nagpur and deccan plateau region the main centers are jamshedpur bokaro in jharkhand kulti in west bengal bhilai and raurkela in chatisgarh and orissa respectively durgapur again in west bengal bhadravati vijayanagar in karnataka vizag in andhra pradesh and salem in tamil nadu here also we find that iron and steel industries have de developed in those areas where the raw materials are found in abundance because this helps in cutting down of transportation cost and that reduces the price of the production next we come to the textile industry now the textile industry is one of the oldest industry of the world the term textile means woven fabric the raw materials which are used in the textiles are of three types they can be obtained from plants like cotton jute and flax they can be obtained from animals and insects like wool from sheep and silk from silk worms there are several different types of synthetic fibers such as rayon nylon and polyester they have also become increasingly popular along with the natural fibers however cotton is the most popular fiber the industrial revolution brought about a dramatic change in the cotton textile industry during the industrial revolutions due to several different types of inventions for example the flying shuttle now this flying shuttle was one of the key developments in the industrialization of weaving it allowed a single weaver to weave much wider fabrics and it could be mechanized weavers could also weave at a faster pace due to the invention of this flying shuttle in 1748 the carding machine was invented now this carding machine helped the fibers to be kept at the same length and also eliminate the impurities present in the cotton besides this the spinning mule which was invented in 1779 helped in producing cotton yarn and thread work became faster and high quality of yarn was produced all this led to the rapid development of the cotton textile industry when the power loom came into use it increased the production of the cotton cloth pretty rapidly and this is how it helped in producing more and more of cotton today we have three types of mills spinning mills which produce yarn yarn is the fabric or the thread thread for the fabric 
the next is the weaving mills the thread which is produced in the spinning mills is used for weaving the cloth and it is known as the weaving mill and there are composite mills which produce both yarn and cloth cotton textiles are mainly manufactured in usa especially in the eastern part where the climate is very mild cotton is also grown in large amount and the mills are also situated in the eastern part but in the northeastern part where the climate is very mild this helps the thread not to get broken while it is being woven into a yarn the uk china india russia japan uh, brazil france spain italy and egypt are the most important cotton manufacturing cotton textile manufacturing countries of the world india is also not behind there are several cotton textile mills and they are located where cotton is produced in huge amount which includes gujarat maharashtra and tamil nadu kanpur in uttar pradesh nagpur in maharashtra sholapur in maharashtra indore in madhya pradesh coimbatore in tamil nadu and delhi our national capital are among the other centers of this industry the first cotton textile mill was set up in mumbai in 1854 also mumbai is the largest center of cotton textile production and is thus also known as the cottonopolis of india so today we end this module with these two important industries in the next module we will come up with several other important industries though they are not as major as the iron and steel industry and textile but nevertheless they are also very important for the development of the country that is what we have enough time for today thank you